for global shipping and other logistics costs have increased significantly. Yes, people, that is an honorable Andrew Olness address the nation. And I tell him, say, be things are going to know. He might do so, so, so good that you don't know. Yeah, man. Price of the thing gone down, you know, people. That the man I say, you, know, you see me? One of them thing, man. So you are going, people, where the Queen of Africa get to, you know? Repar reparational damage and all kind of thing. All kind of shit, you see? Be things are going with our my people. Hey, reparational damage or whatever they want to call it my people a serious business they must say I go on with her you see me yeah man serious business yeah the family of Jamaican skia singer Derek Morgan has filed a defamation lawsuit against Morgan's daughter popular reggae singer Queen Africa alleging reparational damage for alleged allegations she made against him in 2023 yeah man be a things are going queen how you get yourself in here yeah man so morgan morgan's son merrick merrick morgan the son of the 83 year old skia singer confirmed that they return an attorney at law, Charlie Gyang sing song in Jamaica, whatever you want to pronounce with the last name of the people. So, I'll be a things are going on, Queen. How will you get yourself in a man? Them things that you are just talk. I don't know. People, you know, look good on your side right there. So, a family business, this, you know, a father, sus, daughter, you know, what is people? People make this make sense. God know them couldn't squash that without that boy. I mean, I know what this man you know. Everybody I go get money now. How money I go solve them kind of issue there? Everybody want to sue people to get money and them thing there. Them thing they does. <laughs> Where come down to? All they come down to now is just money. The man I sue him own daughter people. So I mean, I know when I leave in the thoughts, I make me know when you think me people. A serious business, I me mean, not lie. Jaja no star. But you are going. Make we hear and you only say no. Because I have a lot to say no. You see me? Yeah, man. Because of the war in the Ukraine and other global disruptions, world prices for global shipping and other logistics costs have increased significantly. Important that you know that your government cares about your living circumstances. And well, yes, sir. you think him care about the living condition? Yo, me, me know you know because people are ball from a bar until now, you know. So me know you know. Drop your comment and make me know on a JLP supporters, make me know if the Prime Minister do good for you, know, you know. Or now if you go switch. Alright, you know, cause enough of them people, you know, whosoever true and look how money give them a that them a deal with nowadays, you know, people. Yeah, man. Switchy, switchy. <laughs> Repairing the bridge is one way in which we tangibly demonstrate that we care about your circumstances. For all those people who are delayed, who have to walk long distances, because of the bridge, that bridge will be repaired. And I also want to commend. Let me tell you something, man. Never trust a politician. I always, when them something must be go on, you see them come around and I try to fix up this and fix up that. Watch you know, man. I see him bang around. I see I go on from day one. You know, change. Same thing. So, people, I won't have to leave in the thoughts and make me know where you're thinking you know, because. I don't see no changes. I run people off because they run away. I you know what that may I tell you. And find some way, is it? Jamaica Broilers for its good corporate citizenship because they are contributing $50 million to the bridge.
Yeah, man. Serious, serious, serious bangarang are going on with that situation, my people. So, chop your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the Prime Minister and what you say. You see me? I want them thing, the people. Yeah, man. You know it go already. So, we are moving right along because me have Mr. G British, you know, and he's different. You see what I say? I'm making you know. So, yeah, we're going to Sean Storm. Go and hold it, you know, brother, because I want them thing, you know. You see me? So, yeah, man, he's born a fire, man. God, no. Yeah, what I say? Help you assist him, dog, to me, Mr. G British. I'm not going to argue with a the man there behind the scene where you can't know. You see me? It's like how me come out when we are come some people and I say, yo, oh no, a system dog without no apology. Sir P, uh, in the spot news media can't come out and show them face. You see me? Because remember, you know, I set them set up, get. Yeah, I don't lie, people. Them man, they show them face. But them say them do it for a purpose, for try to protect because they don't know them life supposed to be in a danger and all of these things. So, you don't know how the thing go with that. You see me? But them I get conk right there so from Mr. G British. So, yeah, you don't know. Tell you life, you know. Look for what you are, sir, Pedro. Try to set up bright light life, you see me? And I talk about things and then now, another member now I go beg for mercy from that man. We can't see the system. The light voice cartel now, nah, Sean Storm now, nah, Ninja man. You see me? Nah, I'm over But the ending of the day, you know, you don't have to know who you're deaf and you know, a member say, you know, you don't, have, you don't do no crime, you know, so you can't plead to Sir P. But no, you're not busy with Sir P. You want to say, because remember, you know, controversy around the media, bad publicity, or good publicity, even if they're behind the bars, you want to come on the road, you know. Yeah, people, let me know if you agree, you know, with the argument from Mr. G British people, because you don't know, I saw them man they go to work already. Them man they know all along them out of and talk, nothing, you see me? Straight, there's a conk you, and they must show them face. <laughs> and they must show them face, not them, but you see me, they must show them face, prowling. So, you don't know, real ghetto youth. Mm -hmm. That is a freedom without no apology, because remember, you know, the, the king say, you know, if you squash that case, you know, and them still are run with it, you know. Because they show them here about the show them and want to hold them behind bars. But remember, you know, if they don't have a proof, you know, how oh, they really are charged somebody without no proof. All right, we forget about chance time thing you now. Adidas. Look for the brother. Where they in Adidas, the All right, before you move on from the chance time thing, yeah, man, Sean Storm, them, boy, I mean, you know, them give one boy a big, you see me, a big, big, big push by mentioning the name, but it's probably necessary, so people, drop your thoughts and let me know what you think about that little part of the argument right there, so you see me, yeah, and if Serpy and, you see me, I go hold, have a little hole on the case, whatever it is, people, so, yeah, man, Queen Africa did say a thing about where, Mr. G British, I go say right here, so because they must say something about the Adidas and two man they pan it and they must do some kind of, you know, the thing them where Jamaica no like already, you must know. Yeah, man. The LBGTQ, FC, every kind of whatever letter you want to think of people. One of them things. So, yeah, what I must say? Jamaica, whatsoever. I that then gone to know. I hug up one and then I have roses like them just married. I don't understand that. And then they won't come in with one other law in Jamaica now about discriminating law. I tell you, the heads of government in a fully reverse and bro, God, use vice cartel slang. What day when they run for local election, kind of when I like the man. And I use the man's style and I put the man free. Bro, God. I that me you want to say to you, you see them, them government boy, yeah? Yo, I not even want to disrespect them still, but yo, them just use up the man, them thing, and then, you, you see me? But we don't know, we say they don't they need PMP government when vibes go tell go jail, but take that out tight, no, I don't do it, but government, you know, if you focus on our music, man, it's supposed to get bigger than this, man. What are you talking about, man? Put some more love in that thing, man. Yo, now nah, use the ghetto youth, them, and then, oh.
And we're not even support the music. It's sad for see God know people. One of them thing there. For real. People, just make sure so you leave your thoughts in the comment, you know. Yeah, man, flood the comment section and make me know if you agree. Is it? Put 1,000 likes on the video, same way you said speed. God. Boy, I can't believe every day when I believe, say, GLP are going to do something good. Then do something in a full reverse. Every day, I wonder. Even out of road have to come strike, what, day. what kind of thing that? If out of road have to strike, Trust me, country, I got to eat dogs without no apology. Yeah, people, so you don't know Mr. G. British that and him I make you know, you know straight, you know, so your country, I go down in a turmoil right now, you know, man. Yeah, man, rat hole. Rat race. <laughs> rat race, people. <laughs> God, no. Yo, me, I tell you, say, yo, I be a fight vibes, God, tell them I get people. Basically, me did post a video for my other channel still, you know. Yeah, man, Mr. Media, you know, people, so I want to you know, go over there and subscribe, you know, is it? Yeah, man, subscribe and like it up on them thing there, is it? But, yeah, man, Dean Jackson, it broke down a little thing still. I can just showcase a little part of it and make a year ago and same way said speed, is it? Yeah. If you've been following the cartel case at all, you know that this has been at the heart of the matter. And this is the reason the Privy Council quashed the convictions of cartel and his three co-accused in March 2024. So let's back up a little bit so we understand exactly what happened, because it actually is a really, really interesting story. By way of background, first of all, the cartel case started with 12 jurors. All right. Now, by law, there can't be less than 11 who heard this case. So what that means is that you have a spear juror, spear tire, call it that, no disrespect. People, you hear that, man? Yeah, man, there's a spear tire, man. No disrespect. <laughs> Yo, but you not know, lie, she break down the case, man. Yo, I mean, I you know, lie, the man never get fight, man. It, this thing, it, it get personal now to blow out. I you mean, know, I lie, people, honestly. But you have a spare juror who, if somebody needs to go home for whatever reason, the trial can still continue and something did happen, which you'll hear about in just a moment. All right. So the trial starts. You actually had three situations in this case involving jurors. The first one didn't really turn up, didn't turn out to be anything at all, but I mention it just for the sake, sake of completeness. All right. In January 2014, there was an encounter between one of the jurors and one of the defense lawyers. That's not supposed to happen. So the judge was informed, the judge looked into the matter and the judge decided, okay, this was an accidental encounter. It's not going to prejudice. The judge was a crook, people. Damn crook. <laughs> I can't believe said the judge and the prosecutor end up plan up something and say, and then the prosecutor come out and come talk about it's a lot of times that we have tainted jury and we end up use those jury and it, no problem. You know how much case them people you must use and yo the amount of man must sit down all night depending and can't and I wonder what I go on if I never have vibes can tell certain things wouldn't show up so the better free them and them they make a mockery of the system imagine the people who supposed to uphold the system and set a perfect example for us so you know say everybody have to abide by the law the right and proper way or whatever them over there do some like share the thing too you see me tainted jury when them know and i hear them i do it for you know you paula lewin say it out or remote man believe no man god no it's anything case can go ahead and both the court of appeal and the privy council agreed with that so fine that wasn't a problem then we came to february february 2014 something happened that was to prove really really important one of the jurors came to the judge very, very upset. It turned out that she had a son who was at a Horizon Remand Center, which is where the, the accused men were staying as well. And they came to know of his presence and to understand and to know that his mother was serving on their jury. So the juror was... Everybody gets scared people and around for them life. You can't depend on jury and then how them go find out say your son depend the cell block to you know I go go on you go get damaged. You can't do that. 
Whoa, we not inside. No violence, you know. But me, I tell you, things can get crazy when you see man lock up in a depend, you know. So, boy, me, I tell you, you know, people, the amount of story when me hear about all of these kind of things, me, I tell you, it's not easy. I was really upset. She was concerned about her son's safety and she, she just wanted to be let off. The judge discharged her. So, we are now in a situation where we're down to the 11 jurors. So the spare juror has been excused. So there are no more spare now. You're at 11. Can't lose any more jurors or the matter would have to be discharged. The matter could not go ahead. Then what happens now? On the very last day of the judges summing up, the forewoman lets the judge know that this juror, juror X, he is called by the Privy Council, has tried to bribe her with half a million dollars to render a not guilty verdict. No, she said that man living, living stand or whatever you want him. Hi, <laughs> be a things. The man say, yo, 500,000 boy, and just say, come back with not guilty verdict. And you want to say this man, yeah. Go around and offer all of the jury of them the same offer and they must refuse and then oh them not that would they oh, then if she, you that may, you may not tell the people you agree. said that this is a juror she's been suspicious of from the very beginning. She said she was actually watching him and she was asking him, Hold on, are you paying attention to the case? Are you listening to the evidence? And his response was, No, we just need for Lego demand them. So that was his stance from the very beginning. And then now he came and tried to bribe her. It didn't stop there. It emerged that for weeks, the man had been trying to bribe other members of the jury. And it, it turned out that he had approached every single person on the jury and tried to bribe them. So it was brought to the attention of the judge. And the judge says, what am I to do now? What am I to do with this? Again, remember, it's the very last day of the judge, the judge head star hurting people. He start get headache. Yes, he mean need a drink right now. You know? <laughs> judge, you know, say you should have been take a break or take the day off or you say, oh, yeah. court is adjourned until tomorrow, 8 o'clock, bright and early. Everybody go and get some rest. And you go home and do a little homework. And then, you know, say so you that come out better. But you just rush the thing after 65 days, you still mess it up. You see me I said, do it good and done. I'm admitting it upon it. He's summing up, you know. So all the evidence is in. That part of it is finished. The judge is now helping the jury by summing up everything that has happened and helping to explain the law to them. And the very last day he's doing this, he hears this. So remember, normally in a situation like that where you have what's called jury tampering, you know, or a problem with any kind of juror, you could look at discharging, sending home that particular juror. But remember what happened in this case, we've already let go one juror. We're now at 11, can't go to 10. So if he sends home this juror, it's the same as sending home the entire jury. And it's the, that in that case, the case would have to stop would have to start over from the entire beginning. And remember, you're talking about time, you're talking about costs, you're talking about multiple lawyers, first of all. So you're talking about a significant delay in just trying to get the matter scheduled again because people have other things they're doing. Them things that this case done, they have their diaries, they're moving on to other cases, other things. So it's just a huge inconvenience. And who knows if- That is why them do that with people. Rush the thing. May I tell her them should I take one more day and just go chill out and come back again and then rush it and mash up everything and make a whole Jamaican justice system look like them did I do some shady things from 1961 till now. Madness are going right here. So may I tell you, I, that are the bigger picture of this. I think I just vibes cartel. Take all right, take vibes cartel out of it and look on it a different way and look on it from a different angle, brother. The justice system is rigged. You know, see what I go on. The justice system mess up. The justice system twisted. You know, see what them people are doing, man? And then them come and tell you brawl in your face. Yeah, them work with tainted jury all the time. So that's okay. And them say you breach a constitution right and them justify it. Boy, I mean, I tell you. Madness, madness right across the board, people.
the witnesses are even going to be available for a second trial. So the judge has a whole lot on his mind and he has a big, big decision to make. The decision he makes is that the trial goes ahead. It's going to go to its conclusion. The prosecution had said they think it's okay. They think the judge just has to warn the jury and remind them, hey, remember you're here to do a job. You have to be impartial. You have to be fair. The defense lawyer say, we don't like this. But the judge makes a decision to go ahead. This decision later proved to be fatal to the case, fatal to the convictions, and this is fatal to the whole Jamaica. You know, here, people, this year, disgusting. May I say, boy, when I have to look upon it from a deeper perspective. Why the Privy Council quash the convictions. So this is what the Privy Council said. They say you have this situation where the jury had been contaminated for weeks by this man, right? He was he was sitting with them hearing the evidence. He went into the jury room with them as part of the deliberations. And remember as well, this was not a unanimous verdict. It turned out to be a 10 to 1 verdict. Guess who voted against? So you might say here, hold on, why is this a problem? Seeing that it ended up that there was a guilty verdict, a 10 to 1 guilty verdict, you might say, what was the harm? But what the Privy Council said here is that you have to look in, in looking at whether there's a fair trial. Did the men have a fair trial? Was there a right to a fair trial by an independent and impartial tribunal? Was that right breach? You have to look at whether the jury was swayed one way or the other. So was the jury influenced to vote not guilty. Well, that didn't happen here. But the concern then is the opposite. Was the jury influenced to vote guilty? And the reasoning was this. I think there was, you know. I think they definitely get sweared to say not guilty based upon how the judge and the prosecutor and all of these people are fubble double and are mumble up and do all kind of thing, you know. Fubble double them a fubble double with the thing them. You see me people. Here yeah, one a man make we hear some more. Did they overcompensate? Is it that they thought that hold on, maybe, maybe there's some link here between the bribery and the accused men? No evidence was ever shown of any such link. All right. Let me just say that straight up. But is it that maybe that was on the jury's mind? Were they, you know, deciding to say, okay, there was an attempt to bribe me? Me not, I'm not going to be bribed. I'm not going to be influenced. You know, me I'm going to do the thing right. And in doing so, maybe went too far in the opposite direction. And maybe that the guilty verdict then wasn't free and fair, wasn't independently arrived at because their minds either consciously or unconsciously had been influenced in a different way ended up with then decide in other words did they decide to punish their appellants um the men in this case whether consciously or unconsciously i yes they never do it consciously this was a rush case and it sounded like it was just a rushy rushy thing and everybody just trying to get home and they just send them <laughs> just send them off to the pen sad situation that to see that yo me i tell you Imagine, you know, people, how much innocent people did it because the, 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 the judge tired and everybody tired and they say, get this over with. Uh, guilty, quick and fast. We have to go. We know business who this man is, you know, we don't even know him. Why one of them think people? So there was a concern then about the verdict that had been arrived at. Now, the judge had done something, you know, he hadn't discharge the juror or the jury, but he had given them a direction, what you call an instruction. And But the instruction was to say, hey, remember you're here to do a job. Remember you took an oath to do the job fairly and freely. So remember your oath. And now tell me, you know, which right person in the right mind are going to tell me, say, you know, oh, you take an oath. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jamaica have the most church in the world per square mile. Just relax, no man. Take oath. You think anybody believe that I take it out business? Them just know say, yeah, hey, we're going to do that. Yeah, you know, and that we are doing about take oath. Nobody not believe in any mistake. Come on, yeah, man. Joke thing. Joke thing. The fact that them take these things so lightly and it's just it come like a big game for them. Go, you know. Go, yeah, man. 
Republicans will say, mm, not enough. It didn't speak to the specifics of what happened in this case. They also said the judge hadn't done enough of an investigation. He had spoken to the four women, a matter to his attention, but they say he didn't speak to the other jurors to try to figure out what was going on with them. And according to the, to use their words, the extent to which the contamination had spread. They said the judge needed to have done that because in doing so, he would have then had enough information to say, all right, it look as if why this can't happen. I need to just discharge this jury and done. They said in the absence. Yeah, but the judge, he more lazy. Big lazy, sit down pan him bam. I know I do no work. Just when the prosecutor them do one whole heap of work and come through and just do them thing. And him just sit down there and just make decision based upon for somebody's opinion. Are you are the judge? Are you should I know what's right from what's wrong and how to boy I me mean, I tell you, man? Boy I me mean, I tell you. Sense of that and given the circumstances. The convictions had to be quashed. No, the Privy Council did say, you know, they were they were sympathetic to the judge's dilemma. You know, sixty four day trial, expensive. Who knows if you're going to get the witnesses back for the next trial? Inconvenient to reconvene. Trust me, you only have multiple lawyers in a case. Is hell to try to agree a, 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 a trial date especially in a matter as long as this but in which everyone's diary is free because people are now expecting hold on the case done so they have other matters in their diary maybe backed up you know these are busy people these are these are yeah people so when you get the full understanding man i want to go on right there so with them people you see me we don't have to go around it the thing i get twisted feelings are getting at the thing judge are make unnecessary judge can't make decision for themselves and them are the judge and you see me them can ask your opinion but at the end of the day it all comes down to you i'm think like when i rush things and then you just mess up everything god no people mm -hmm. criminal lawyers who are in great demand so the privy council say we, we get it you know we get it we get that the judge was facing a different a difficult decision we get that it was an unenviable position to be in but they say he could not look at the issue of expense of a new trial and inconvenience and whatever because what you're dealing here did the men get a fair trial was their constitutional right breached and that should have been the paramount issue that they were looking at now the privy council did say hey you know here in england we've we've dealt with that issue because they have a law there that says in the event that you have to discharge a jury the case can continue the trial can continue with judge alone we don't have that law so for us now if we have to discharge a jury matter if it stop have to start all over again and there have been calls since the privy council ruling came down in march 2024 for us to amend our laws to make sure we have that in place because otherwise think about it anybody can just get up run go bribe a jury or our members of the jury and then the matter is going to have to be thrown out so at 2024 you know man here we go on, you see with this court system, all over here, they must say they have a whole heap of backlog in a foreign country. Them here. Much less all Jamaica to blow. So, more than I say, brother, what do you need to do better still, man? 2024, you know, I'm pretty sure a little bit more improvement can go up on the thing. Them. Yeah, I want them thing, people. Yeah, man, you have to just leave your comment and make me know where you think, you know. You see me? In the comment section, you know, yeah, man, make the comment section active and make we reason over this. So, you see, it? there have been calls for us to address this. And I would have thought with the Privy Council ruling coming down in March, I would have liked to see an emergency amendment dealt with and rush the parliament to ensure that this cannot happen again. Up to now, and this is June 2024. We have not seen that amendment. Of course, we'll see what's going to happen. We'll see what Parliament is going to do.
Now, just by way of completeness, Jura X, his real name is actually Livingston Kane. He was arrested after the trial. He was tried. He was found guilty of attempting yeah. to pervert the course of justice. And he was sentenced to nine months in prison. That sentence was handed down in March 2023. Going to leave it there for today, folks. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, man. So, sorry about that little talk a while ago, people. You know the thing, enough people say no talk. True, but you don't know one of them thing the way <laughs> when you know it just happened but yeah our apologies for who's offended sometimes you know we are only human yes my people all on there yeah my people yo you see the song up on your screen god no yeah man one boss did semi fi highlight it for him you see it it's called science my people you see it official music video you see it my people yeah man you can check it out right this up on the channel you see it yes my people one boss you see it yeah man one boss viva right there so you see me yeah man run up the subscribers upon it you see it put some more like upon it you see my 409 like upon it right now you see me eh all right my people yeah man a one boss science official music video one boss science official music video my people yeah divine majesty redeem produced by sonovic vocals engineered by bad bread records my people video shoot and edit by stepper side production yeah and you must say yo like share and subscribe don't forget to like share and subscribe and do all of the good things them you see me people yeah man it's a good look i'm keep making here a little piece no man i saw you thing go you know them all the sacrifice them on the kids just forget rich like you send boy mm, that i go on for what i go on eh? what you say let me know if you like this song you see me Half of the story them never yeah. told Rather settle for the silver than for bull for yeah. gold Hustler in the winter when Chris Yeah, the man say hustler in the winter no man And do the thing no man, I walk go on no man Yeah, you see brother go and hold it <laughs> It's cold, if you try to hold your back That's how the peg and roll Me number one for no Gucci Me number one for no Louis Me brother boy do rest for love Yeah, people, I go on with that thing man Yeah, man, so you are going now? Yeah, man, let me know if you like the vibe still. You are going on. You don't know when I have to play out the whole full thing over here. So we we'll leave it for you to go ahead and view it. And we're we'll going to leave it in the comment section and in the description. You don't know. One boss, science. Big up yourself, my general. One of them things there. You see it? Yeah, man. People just go over there and check it out and just, yeah, make him, make him know, say. Uptown TV send you over there. Send you over there for deal with the vibe. Just eat me, people. So, one of them thing, you know, man. Mm -hmm. No, so we are going to hurry up and we are going to step out of the place. Just eat me, people. Yeah, man. One of them thing, you know. So, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, my people. Is it? Yeah, man. Big up on yourself, and we'll catch you in the next one. Is it? Mm -hmm. All the eyes, let me dash it now, girl. All the signs, let me dash it now, girl.